are several ways to sew this jacket using clothes lady. However, I will demonstrate the quick and easy method for sewing it. Are you ready? Let's get started. Okay, there you go guys. To sew this jacket, first we want to bring the pattern into clothes. To do that, I will go to file, click on that, then come down here to import and we want to select DXF. Click on that to select. And then I will go to my folder, which is downloads. And then right here. So by default, I have three files that downloaded from Etsy. Now I'm going to select right here, DXI pattern, click on that. And then come down here, click on open. And by default, I have load type open, scale auto scale, percentage 100%, do not rotate. Maintain original, perfect. And down here under option, leave everything as is and then click on OK. So by default, I have pattern annotation show here. If you somehow don't see that, come over here to the vertical toggle menu and then click on this annotation icon to show, OK? Next, we want to load the avatar and change the size for the pattern. Let me go back to the requirement here. So if I look down here to the right and I see these quick tips for fitting, I can use Missy Curvy 6 or Petite Curvy 6. So I'm going to use Missy Curvy 6 here, okay? So let me get back to Clove and I'm going to go to Avatar here, double click to open, come to female underscore V2 and I'm going to select Camilla. After that, I will go to side folder, double click on it and we want to select Missy Curvy, double click to open and we want to select Missy Curvy 6. Double click on it to load the sizes to the avatar. Now we are ready to sew the garment. We have many ways to sew this. I will show you the quick and easy way to do this, okay? First, I'm going to delete these facing here. I will also do the same here. And after that, now I'm going to begin sewing. To sew this, I will use two tools. One is segment sewing tool and the other is free sewing tool. Let's select free sewing tool first. And I'm going to begin sewing the sleeve here. Click one to start, hover the mouse to the right, click once again to end, then press down shift. And I'm going to click right here to start, click to end, click to start, and then click to end. Okay, so as you can see right here, I made a mistake. So I'm going to go back and then go to edit sewing tool here. And I'm going to click on the sewing and then press on the delete or backspace on the keyboard to delete. Now I'm going to use my free sewing once again, click on that and I'm going to click one to start, hover the mouse over, click once again to end, then hold down shift and click one to start here and then click over here to start and then click once again to end. Next, I will sew right here, click one to start and hold it down until I see this notch here and then click once again to end. I will do the same here, click right here and then come down here. Okay. Next, I will switch my tool to segment sewing tool. Come over here to the segment sewing tool, click on that and I'm going to click one right here and then click right here. And next, I'm going to click right here and right here. After that, we want to sew the shoulder seam. Click one right there and next, I'm going to click right here. Perfect. After that, we are going to place all the pattern onto the avatar. To do that, I'm going to come over here to this vertical toggle menu and then click one and hover the mouse to the right, select the show arrangement point. So we will place the pattern on the left side of the avatar. I'm going to switch my tool to transform pattern tool here, click on that. Then I'm going to click on the front of the jacket, hover the mouse over the front left right there of the avatar, click one to place. Then I'm going to press on number six here. We want to see the side view. Now I'm going to mark key select both sleeve and sleeve cuff and come over here, hover the mouse over that arm there and click one to place. After that, I will press on number eight here to see the back view. I'm going to click on back side of the pattern and then click right there to place the pattern. After that, I'm going to click this pattern icon once again and then we want to hide the show arrangement point. Now I'm going to adjust the pattern. We want the pattern lay on top of the avatar. Simply pull it out a little bit. Now it's good. 
the same right here click pull it out it's perfect I will do the same right here with the sleeve click pull it out a little bit as long as they lay over the avatar we are good to go we also want to move this a little bit further so we don't want the pattern tangle with each other either so simply move it up a little bit that looks pretty good I'm going to press on number two here to see the front view okay next I forgot to sew this dot here so I'm going to use the segment sewing tool here and then zoom in a little bit and then begin sewing the dots okay I will do the same here right there all right so after that I'm going to make a copy of the jacket I will switch the tool to transform pattern tool here click on that my key selects all the pattern pieces right click and we want to select symmetric pattern with sewing and I'm going to press on shift and then click one to place the pattern perfect now as you can see right here we are not only sewing the pattern but we also place them exactly on the opposite side next we want to sew the back and the front I will use the free sewing tool here to sew the back side simply click one and then click once again and then click one and then click once again to start the sewing the front I will do the same here click one to start scroll it down and this time I will sew to this front notch right there that's a zipper notch okay I will do the same over here click one right there to start and then sew until this zipper notch okay so next I'm going to strengthen the pattern before I'm going to simulate to do so I will switch my tool to the transform pattern tool and then my key selects all the pattern right click and select strengthen and after that I'm going to press on the spacebar to simulate okay now I'm going to let it simulate completely then I'm going to press on the spacebar once again to stop the simulation